What's up, folks? Uh, partner's gonna get down at the CC Wholesale Mart you see behind me to look for some scrubs for his secondary job. I just found an amazing looking thrift store. Trash to Treasures. Isn't that awesome? I think it's Betty's Trash to Treasures. So I'm gonna get down and come check it out and see if I can find anything worth grabbing. All right, so I'm gonna make my way in here. Man, I got like 12% on my phone. It's been dead all day. So we're gonna try to do this in 12%. <laughs> Let's go ahead and inside. <clears throat> Hello. Can I look around, sir? Hi there, ma'am.
picking up on you. I just got sneakers on. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Is this anything? That is uh, Eastern Star. What's up folks, Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, and I'm coming to you today with a quick, uh, well not really a quick video, but the haul portion of this video will be quick. I didn't pick up a whole lot of things, but my, 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 I'm so excited. I was on duty working uh, my part-time job in Corpus Christi, and uh, my partner needed to go buy a place called the CC Wholesale Mart. That's where everybody in the medical field usually goes to buy clothing. So... Uh, he went over there, and I was just going to hang outside until he did his business. And I happened to look over and see a new thrift store that I did not even know existed. This place was called Betty's Trash to Treasure. Wow, it was an amazing place. I loved the outside of it. Just it was cool. You could tell it was something like vintage -y that I was going to enjoy. Just looking through the window, seeing everything. This was on a Sunday. To my amazement, it was actually open. I got to walk around and met the... The really nice couple that, that run it. I'm not sure if they were 
a couple or friends or what, but the place was amazing. I ended up getting a good deal. As you see here, I picked up some vintage comic books and toys. And I think I spent approximately $25. Uh, the comic books were marked $250 each, but I somehow I got a discount and uh, I paid $15 for seven, I think. It should have came out to like $17.50, but I got it for $15. And then I found these figures I recognized right away. These were for $10. And uh, I've been wanting some of these for the longest times. They don't look like they have... Well, I do see, see one accessory. There's no accessories to them other than that axe. Uh, but definitely something that I've been wanting. Let's go ahead and go over the comic books first, though. I was so happy to land these. These are all vintage. <clears throat> Super stoked to have them. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the very first one. As you can see, this is going to be, I believe, uh, 1982. This is the Saga of Crystar, Crystal Warrior. Uh, this is, was also a cartoon and a toy line. As you can see, this is the actual toy line that I was able to pick up there from this co comic book. This is issue one. I'm super happy to have found issue one there. They actually had two copies of this one there. The second one, look at the artwork, so nice. This is issue two. Let me get this picked up again, there we go. So this is issue two. Again, really nice looking artwork. I don't think it was very successful in its time, but now it's one of those big collector's items. Next one is gonna be issue three of Crystar Crystal Warrior. The toys are actually made by Rimco, one of my favorite old time uh, toy companies. So that's issue three. As you can see, the artwork. You got a. I think his name is Crystal Warrior, the main guy. And then we're going to jump into Alpha Flight. I was kind of sad that I could not find issue one of this, but I got two, three, and four, I believe. Maybe I only got six. Maybe I didn't get a discount. I thought I picked up four, but I guess I didn't. So I may need to go back. They had four. I guess I didn't grab it. So maybe she, she did count correctly. So this is uh, September, issue two. Look at the original price. <laughs> it says it's a 83 comic, that one. And it's Alpha Flight. And you recognize all the characters. These are a lot of the old Toy Biz uh, uh, Build-A-Figures and Action Figures. Really nice artwork. I love Alpha Flight. That's cool. I think that's a Canadian super team. Okay, so that's issue two. And this is going to be three and four. I might as well put them both up since I pulled the wrong one at the wrong time. So you got issue three. The, all these comics are in great shape, and they're from the early 80s in issue four. They got Sasquatch on the front cover. They got a lot of really cool characters. So that's going to be the comic haul portion of the video. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I hope you're admiring my uh, amazing diorama that my buddy Dusky made for me. Still in love with it. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and open up these little action figures here. This is from 82. So for 10 bucks, I didn't have a problem grabbing it. Everything was priced was kind of what you'd expect for these stores. Alright, so this one I believe is named Dragon Rider. You can tell he's he has no uh, articulation. He's just a chunk of chunk of plastic. But these are the cool thing about these Rimco Crystar Wars is you could they're translucent. You can see through them. Uh, I remember having these when they came out in the early '80s, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. This one's an '82 Rimco. This one actually goes with a blue dragon that's also translucent crystal, and he rides it. I'm gonna have to get that one day. But really cool looking figure. Okay, and then we're going to go, I believe this is a bad guy. His name is Magma Man, I think. And I think the main villain, this leader, is called Moltar, if I'm not mistaken. This one may very well be uh, complete. I don't know if he comes with anything other than this axe, but he's in good shape. So he's got a seven-point articulation. He's in good shape. His joints are real tight. Everything just swivels. But not bad for an 82. <laughs> he is really cool looking figure. These are three and three quarter. So we got Magma and then we got Dragon Rider. 
And this is like the main man, which is, uh, <clears throat> I think, Crystal Warrior or Crystar Warrior. He's the main good guy, though. And he looks really cool. I love his accessories. I think he comes with a shield, that really cool helmet with the red pointy sides, and uh, a sword, if I'm not mistaken. But an awesome toy line that I've always wanted to get into. So that's going to be my haul. Six vintage comic books. I thought I got seven. How sad. And I ended up picking up these three figures. I spent uh, $25 total. So I hope you enjoyed the, the hunt. This is a new place for me. I, I really want to go back again. I kind of felt rushed because I was on duty and I didn't want to take too long. But what you saw and what I saw in the video, I was super happy to find the place. So again, if you're ever in the Corpus Christi downtown area... Off of Air Street, it's uh, called Betty's Trash to Treasure. It's a really cool looking place. All right, that's going to be all for the video. This is Kevin, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, reminding you never give up that hunt. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel to see more content that will be coming soon. Also, I have two other channels. If you check in the description below, you can see my other channels. I have a, a channel that I actually do the more modern videos, uh, toy hunts and whatnot. I choose to keep this one just vintage. And also my third channel is actually a collaboration channel with my brother uh, Harry Sandman PR Vlog on YouTube. We're doing uh, two guys reviews. We review almost everything. I try to make that one funnier. I do the editing on it and I try to do real funny intros and outros. So if you get a chance, please check it out. I know it's hard to watch everything, but I would appreciate uh, at least the, the, a sub subscription. So anyways, y'all take care. Pew, 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 pew. Peace. Have a great day. Yeah.